Good day everybody and welcome again to another tutorial here in HowToPhotoshop.net. Today, the technique that we will discuss is how to make images look slimmer in Photoshop. Here we have a sample image. I'm sure you recognize her. She's Britney Spears. Now, immediately you'll notice a problem areas that we will be correcting. There's some here in the front area some in the rear and some in the arms. Now we will edit the chest area to make the whole image more proportioned. What we do is go to Photoshop, open the file that we're going to edit. Since we have a background layer we will duplicate the layer. Now, with Photoshop, we do have a lot of tools which we can use to edit this image, but the easiest and most straightforward tool we can use now is the Liquify tool. To access the Liquify tool, we just go to the Filter menu and select Liquify. We can also access the Liquify tool by pressing shift Control x Inside the Liquify tool, we have a number of tools we can use, and in the right are the values for each tool. The first tool we will use in this project is the Forward Warp tool. We can click on the brush to adjust the size. There. Okay. Now, basically its function is to push the pixels of the image as you drag. Okay. So you just click and then drag, click and then drag, tucking in that stomach click, drag, looking for the areas that we need to edit. Now if you need to edit smaller areas you can adjust the values of the brush to make it smaller or you can use the open bracket to shrink the brush and if you want to expand the brush you can press the close bracket button as well. Just click and drag the areas and repeat okay one more tool we'll use here is the pucker tool now the pucker tool moves pixels towards the center of the brush just adjust the brush and make sure that it covers the area that you need to adjust okay now we'll adjust some areas here. Just click on specific location. As you can see. There. A bit more here. Okay, we'll adjust some areas here in the chest area as well to make it more proportionate. Some here in the rear area. In the thighs. Now you can use the tools as often or as much as you need depending on the areas that you see or think that require editing. Now click on OK to commit to the changes. There we can see the improvements that we made. Now we are just left with this fold of skin. What we will do is use the clone stamp tool to edit this skin. For this situation, we will use an opacity of 25. I would personally recommend this setting so as to avoid too hard changes on the image which would make it a lot less natural. Okay, if in case it's your first time to use the clone stamp tool, all you need to do is click on an area or alt click 
and then draw over the certain area that you would like the sampled area copied. This may be a little bit repetitive since you need to do it again and again, but trust me, this is better than using a hard brush or a higher opacity brush since you would be left with hard edges. Just repeat. You can adjust the brush as well using the brackets. Now apply some blur. And some areas here. Okay. And then we're done. Here's the before and after. If you would like to learn more Photoshop techniques, just log in to howtophotoshop.net. Again, this is Joe. Thank you for listening. Have a nice day.